Hello and welcome back to Code Street. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you how you can use DeepSeek with .NET. Okay, so let's get started. So first we need to download Olama. So let me just download it. Okay. It's like 745 MB, so we'll take some 30 to 40 seconds. Meanwhile, it's downloading. Let me just open Visual Studio. And let's create a simple console application. So console, next. And I'm uh, giving name as deepseek.net, okay, .net 9. And uh, these are by default, okay. This also downloaded, so let's okay. So let me do quickly. The first thing is first, let's come here and open, just install it, okay. Uh, one prerequisite is there, uh, you need to have Python 3 at least, okay, before running this, okay. Okay, so let me open the command prompt and here what we have to do is now we have to go to models and this is the top one. Okay, it's now in trending and we are going to use 1.5 billion. So it, it will take uh, I mean less space and also it would be uh, fast when we query something. Okay, so uh, because you, you can see like uh, here it's a 4 and 104 GB. Okay, so that's not required for this uh, tutorial. We are going to install this one 1.5 billion. Okay, so what you have to do is we need to just copy this, then open. Already we have opened the command prompt, we have to just run. So, what we'll do, it will download the model. So, it's 1.1 GB, uh, it should not take more time. Perfect. So it's already started running. Now let me just uh, send something to know like, let me look, who are you? Let's confirm DeepSeek R1. Okay, so we are good. And uh, what we're going to do is now let it be running because we need to keep it running. And then uh, now let's come here. First we need to install some libraries. Okay, which is me come here or uh, semantic kernel uh, like we are going to use semantic kernels so let's first install this okay uh, so semantic kernel this one uh, we need to install and also we need to install olama connector so let it first install it let's supply accept dot olama and uh, this one we are going to use, which is from the code blaze. So let's install this. Perfect. Now let's start writing the code. So let's start this. So using code blaze dot semantic kernel dot connectors dot olama. Okay. And then using microsoft kernel chat completion yeah these are the required now let's create builder equals to kernel dot create builder and dot add olama chat completion and here we need to write the same model basically here you can see it's saying model id and url so model id we can get it from here so that we will not miss anything okay so let me just copy this paste and the url basically so url if you see well, whenever you install the olama then it will be running on port 11434 okay so we need to put the same like http local host 11434 okay perfect now builder dot add http client and that's all now let's create the kernel 
builder dot build sorry builder dot build uh what happened okay dependency this uh, namespace is required and then let's write the while true okay and uh, let's define string input equals to empty and uh, console dot right line ask anything to tape seek now uh, user input input equals control dot read line perfect now where response response equals await kernel dot invoke prompt async and here we'll provide the input perfect now simply let's write this and share new line if sick okay perfect now uh, before going ahead let's verify that whether uh, that is running on the same port or not if anything wrong then we will not get this and perfect olama is running okay so we are good now let's run this let's first question who are you perfect right uh, this is like a i mean kind of syntax coming from the deep sip so we need to we can i mean remove definitely but yeah here is the basically response okay now let me ask again oh so it's from a chinese company deep seek and uh blah blah so yeah now let's write something uh can you give me code for writing uh, to do control app So app in CSA. Let's see. So yeah, perfect. It's very fast actually. So you can see this is what it has been given. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now we can ask some general question like uh, who is Virat Kohli? Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hope you like it. We can definitely, we can enhance this. We can add chat history. We can stream the response. Basically, we can do everything. But uh, the today goal was to just to integrating the DeepSeek into the .NET Core. That's all for today. Thank you so much. We'll see in the next video.